right, it's now 8 o'clock. This is Morning Express, and uh, welcome back. Uh, in case you're joining us now, a quick reintroduction of the guests that we have in studio. I have uh, Professor Oeri Tumbo. I also have Dr. Alutalala Mukwana and uh, Honorable Jeremiah Kioni in studio, basically looking at the week that was. At this point, I'd like to let you know if uh, we're going to open up the phone line, so feel free to call and uh, let us know what your thoughts are as we continue with the program. Also, do let us know what your expectations are today. Being Mashuja Day, we know that we're going to be having the celebrations officially uh, cele uh, commemorated in Nairobi with the president leading that. But we also have Nasa leader Raila Odinga saying that they're going to have a parallel meeting uh, and this will be in honor of those who possibly, lo not possibly, but those who lost their lives and, uh, during this period where we have had demonstrations that those who've lost their lives and they're going to be having a parallel meeting in honor of that. What your expectation is from the leader? So we're opening up the phone lines. I'll also be looking at what uh, you have to say on social media. But before we took the break, Professor, uh, you, I, I had to ask you to hold a thought in response to what the two gentlemen had talked about and uh, we could hear you out before we take the calls. Uh, thank you, Michael. Uh, first, I want to go back to a very simple principle. The function of a referee in any contest is arbitration. Yeah. Is that, it's arbitration. In this particular case, in my opinion, uh, there is need for the players, for the contestants to obey, to listen to very carefully to the concerns of the referee. Now, what we are seeing here is that there isn't submission, all right, to the role of the referee. There is an argument about the, um, what you would call the propriety. But, but Professor, right? yeah. if, if I can just interrupt you a little yeah. bit. If the IEBC chair gets into referee, not refereeing, but arbitrating, isn't that now going beyond his confines in the sense that now he's getting into a political uh, engagement as opposed to what is his jurisdiction, which is purely legal? Arrange for the elections, make sure that they are run properly, but now the politicians, let them be politicians. No, no, I think you are wrong, Mike. There is a first thing. When you are talking about a referee, the function of the referee is to ensure that the field is marked properly to, be, to play on. Mm -hmm. That is not, that is an issue of governance. Mm -hmm. Is to make sure that the linesmen are there. Mm -hmm. Is to make sure that the linesmen understand their roles, all right? Mm -hmm. and, and then to make sure that every player plays according to the rules that were developed before the contest started. Mm -hmm. but, now, but the now, disagreement the, between the two teams is none of his business. Sorry? The disagreement, if the two teams possibly don't see eye to eye for whatever reason. They can never see eye to eye. The reason they are contesting <laughs> is because they can't see eye to eye. Mm. That's the reason there is a contest. Well, that is so, why. so, just let me finish. So his, his job is when this guy headbats another, he's supposed to tell him, no, the rules are don't headbutt your opponent. Just uh, push him. Those type of things. So they, you cannot, and this is my position, you cannot create a situation whereby, all right, the rules are modified by the players as you play along. The referee must have absolute mm. authority on the pitch, absolute authority. This one, whether you look at it legally, you look at it politically, you look at it socially, you look at it in every other aspect, he must have absolute authority. Once his authority is not absolute, he ceases to be, all right, a credible referee. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, you wanted to respond. Yeah, but I, I just wanted to say wh why it is uh, good to have a professor on board. <laughs> and Sorry? I, why it is good to have a professor on board like we have now, because he has again, in uh, using his uh, uh, knowledge, clearly uh, described who a referee is. And the referee is that person who blinks in the, the teams come and fight him in the field and they play the game. And the rules are already written. They are there in the Constitution. His is to read the rules in the Constitution and implement them when the game is being played. The referee does not call the teams together to agree on the rice man, to agree on how the, the field be, will be marked, and the rest. That is the work of another person 
call the arbitrator, and this Lifari is not the arbitrator. So I, I want to uh, agree with what you have just said, that Shebukati's role to call, playing people to come and agree, you, he, is, he is getting himself in a political market game. He has to arbitrate from where he is, and you have to be very careful. <coughs> But actually, that Michael. role, that role he, he has to play, he has uh, the constitution, he has the Elections Rule uh, Act, he has the directions that was given by the Supreme Court, and that is what he should apply uh, going forward. Okay. It is his team that he should do uh, actually, that. Actually, Michael. But, but uh, if, um, just allow me to, um, uh, you know, I, I told you, Michael, I, I need more time because I'm up against... Uh, uh, no, we, 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 we are talking uh, as Kenyans. Yes. We are speaking as Kenyans. Yeah. Uh, there is and, uh, no I need political to, I need divide. To, I agree, but I need to talk now as the Kenyan because uh, these guys keep taking me away from being a Kenyan. <laughs> I don't know how and they, they, uh, You can't know. I'm here in between them. You not know the heat. Uh, what is passing in, I can tell. But I, and I think what we have to agree to is that we need to have a country that moves on after the 26. There is not going, and we have been told this by people, the professors and the others, we are never going to have a perfect election. It has not happened anywhere. There will always be issues here and there. If we allow, and Shebukati must manage those imperfections to the point where they are acceptable. That's correct. If they are not acceptable, again, we have the courts where we should go to. But it is not to organize masses to beat up his staff. It is not to organize masses to go and uh, approach him from his office. It is not to do the things that we are doing. What we should actually be doing is to get people to vote for us. Again, let me ask you. And you have said, uh, you told us about the issue of the... When one team withdraws, and you have already withdrawn, how do you then come back to say that you are, you are, you are talking about a, th a game that you have already withdrawn from? All right, let me hear from uh, Dr. Mukwana before I take a few calls, very briefly. <clears throat> you know, Michael, uh, I wish you had informed me that I'm going to have a politician next to me. Maybe I would have uh, readjusted my disposition. You are, be because, you are next to a Kenyan. Be, be, a Kenyan politician. Because the problem that we have, Michael, is not the legalities. The problem that we have are the political interests. Now, what Mwishimiwa is not telling everyone here is that each of these guys is trying to outsmart the other. Where NASA realizes Jubilee has cornered them, they resort to mass action. Where Jubilee realizes that mass action is hitting them hard, they resort to pass amendment laws in parliament using their tyrant of numbers. Where they realize that NASA is overtaking them, they decide then you say, don't look at what the Supreme Court said, just look at one limb of the Supreme Court decision, which is October 26th. Whichever way we look at it, Michael, right now, legalities are not going to help us. What is at play now is politics, and each part is trying to achieve its political end. And you're not going to have any sensible arguments right now. There is less and less of law and more and more of politics. That is why Mwishimi Raila has said, come 26th, we'll have the mother of all demonstrations. That is not legal, that is political. Given the fact that yes, picketing is a trend in the constitution, but he is now resorting to political tactics to make sure that the Jubilee side does not proceed with that election. Why? Because Jubilee also have managed to muscle and ensure that the, what the court asked to be done has not been done all through. I have said, forget about when politicians tell you that IBC is independent. It is not independent. IEBC reports either to NASA or Jubilee. All right, let now, me take a few calls. Let, let way, me take a few calls back. and I'll come back. I'll, yeah. I'll come back. Yes. Let me take a few calls. And uh, Buanam Zungu from Mombasa, good morning. Thank you for calling and uh, to your question or comment, sir. Asante sana, Nidhi Buana Mark. Mm-hmm. Naita Dima Buana Idi Mzungu Kapatili Zosema. Mm-hmm. Na kutuli mimi ni kwanza na opa na wampia hao watu wampoko nao wawe wanaelewa swali lako kulingana zile ulizouliza wasiruke tu kuuliza kuongea kabla hawajaelewa wao ni watu wamesoma lakini na maneno naonyesha hapa unaouliza swali wengine hawaujibu swali wana wanapepesa swali kwa hivyo wao stitch kwa lile swali kulilouliza so that wale ambao wanaangalia tupate kuelimika kutupitia kwao okay na ni swali gani unaona kama labda halijajibiwa Mimi kitu 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 kitu
naomba saa hizi hao wanaoongea wanaongea lakini na nawajulisha ya kwamba hii Kenya mahali imefikia mm. wao hawajui lakini hii Kenya mahali imefikia sisi wananchi wa huku kando mambo yanayozungumzwa ya ni mambo ambayo hayafai kwa sababu saa hii Kenya iko kwa tension attention uchumi umezorota maisha yanapanda inaonyesha ya kwamba hao watu misimamo yao misimamo ya 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 chama wake hawa hawa wako pale kuifanya Kenya iwe Kenya kwa hivyo mimi ninawaomba wanapozungumza wazungumze kwa ajili ya Kenya na wakenya wasizungumze kwa urefu mirefu kwa sababu saa hizi Kenya ikitumbukia mahala pabaya wao wenyewe wende kulaumika mtu anapoongea hapo sisi tunakuote wanayosema sawa Asante sana bwana mzungu kutoka Mombasa tuwashukuru let's move on to Robin Kisi good morning Rob to your question or comment Yes Yes go right ahead Hello Yes Rob we can hear you go right ahead Kindly put off the volume or the TV so that we are able yeah. to communicate Yes yes thank you Mike um my name is Robert Nyamwange from Kisi Mm -hmm. And uh, I say good morning to uh, Professor Tumbo, uh, Umkwana, and Okioni. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that they are the most fortunate uh, members of your panel today to be there when we are celebrating Mashija Day. Mm -hmm. And I intended to hear that their voices will be more leading the nation because today we are commemorating what the great fathers of this nation did. I thought that this day will change the tone and the tune of this nation going back even to the national anthem invoking the power of God mm -hmm. and saying that justice shall be our shield and defender. I wasn't expecting your panel today to take us back again to the power of peace, love, and unity. Fact, Honorable Kioni to be partisan on a day like today. Mm -hmm. I want to say that today there is a day that God has given to us, that all of us should change our tone and tune and even go back to what the churches have said. Mm -hmm. Even the president himself said recently, and I thought Honorable Kioni was going to put reference to that, that there is a need for us to go back to repentance and forgiveness. I'm looking for a time that Raila and the Kenyatta should be made for the sake of this nation. And I was also asking, maybe before the day that the president said that the Kenya should go for prayers and repentance, we should also have a panel, Mike. You remember last week, I requested you to bring the panel of the people of the caller, the people of the cloth, also that they should also tell the nation. Because if we go with this side that we have, Professor Tumbo was saying this, and Jeremiah was saying this, where are we heading to? When our fathers climbed the mountain Kenya to raise up the flag, mm. when our national anthem and the pledge of allegiance was was made, and you remember the call of the great men, they said our fight would be against the poverty, against disease, and against illiteracy. And right. That's what I expect. And this mm. guy should come down and sit down and go back to what our forefathers said. Man, as today in Mashjad Day, I want you to request them to tone down their tune and their tone so that we can also bring back our nation. Our universities are closing down. Thank the you, economy sir. economy is, is getting down. At the same time, our tourism department is also getting down. And you hear at the same time people on a national television taking sides when things are getting back. Thank, thank you. you, Mike. And I believe that... All right. Thank you, Robert, uh, from Kisi. Let's take the next call and uh, hear what your comments are, Julius. And uh, let's hear your comment or question. And keep it brief as, as, as brief as possible to manage time. Sande. Yes, Julius. Hii furusa ni changi mwoni yangu. Kwanza ningependa kutambua au tuelezwe kinzi IEBC inafanya kazi katiba. Tumeelezwa IEBC ni tumehuru ya kufanya kazi pila kuingililiwa. Tumesikitishwa na buwana rais anapo tembea kwa kambei na kukosua tume ya IEBC hawana chukumu kimamulaka kukutanisha na kipengecha miambili amusini na mbili Close one B. Imepea tume ya IEBC. Pukati mamulaka ya kukalisha, kukutanisha na kuzulisha. 
pili maelezo ya mahakama sisi tuliona imekataa matokeo ilisema kuna illegality irregularity and then process ya kufikia uchaguzi walipotoka nje wamefikia kuweka mahanane siku ya kura bila kujua mambo mengine ambayo yalikuwa ndani pale kwa mfano ukienda sasa sehemu kama polling station fulani naro ilipata kura zaidi ya tano wananasi lamekia hizo kura ilitoka kwa njia ambayo si halali irekebishwe but IEBC wametekwa na wale wanaojulikana wafanye chizi wanataka kwa hivyo hatuoni kama kuna uhuru wa kura kuna utekaji nyara wa kura all right asante sana julius let's move on to caleb in webuye good morning caleb hello yes caleb kindly put off your tv so that we are able to communicate caleb Yes, uh, nataka kushukuru mm -hmm. kwa mjadala ambao uko nao. Lakini mimi niko na jambo moja tu nataka kuomba wanasiasa wetu. Wanapoendelea kugawanyika hapo juu bwana eh, uh, uh, president wetu huru pamoja na mheshimiwa Raila sisi wananchi hapa chini Tukiona hiyo mikawanyika hapo juu hata sisi tuna feel kugawanyika. Naomba tafadhali bwana Uhuru na bwana Raila waone Jebukati. Sisi Jebukati alivyo waomba wakutane naye. Hapo tu ndio posisi tutaona kuna umoja hapo juu. Wakati tutaona umoja hapo juu hata sisi tutafurahia na tutaungana kama wana Kenya. Asante. Asante sana Caleb. Let's finally take a call from Samson in Thika. Good morning yes. Samson. Morning sir. Yes, go right ahead. Sir. Samson kindly put off your television so that we are able to communicate otherwise there'll be a delay. Please put off your telly so that we can talk. Yes, go right ahead uh, Samson. Yes. Samson go ahead. Hello, hello, Mr. Morning, Mr. Mike. Yes, go ahead. Hello, Mike. All right, I think we'll disconnect that call because we don't seem to be communicating well and we want to manage time. And let me come back to the panel now. There are several things that have been raised there, one of them being the fact that uh, Robert has highlighted uh, he was expecting that this being Mashuja Day, we should really be talking about national unity, not divisive politics. Yet again, we find ourselves in a very difficult position because, again, we are where we are, simply because it's a political issue. Uh, if it was to follow the law, we have the law, and that's what we're trying to discuss, so there's that. Uh, then uh, there's also an issue that has been brought up that if the top would be united, if we'd see that un un unity at the top, um, and the top here, of course, being the leaders that we have, uh, Raila Odinga, Uhuru Kenyatta, then it would trickle down to the bottom. The minute there is that division at the top, uh, then we definitely will see issues at the bottom. I want us to maybe just ve give very brief comments on those uh, issues that have been raised there before we move on to the next thing as we wind up. Let's start uh, with you, uh, uh, Dr. Mokwana. Thank you. Uh, Michael, I'm very, very happy that a caller from Capsabit uh, corrected what Mweshmiu had said. Look, the IEBC is empowered by law to actually mediate. And the professor was right when he was saying that they can mediate. IEBC actually can resolve disputes among contestants. That is within the law. However, what is happening is that the politicians have taken extreme stands and therefore any slight, they are very irritable at the moment. Very irritable, you can hear the tone. So any attempt that would appear to bring them closer to agreeing before 26th, is seen with great suspicion. But, uh, Dr. Tari, yes. what difference would IEBC make if our leaders are not mature enough themselves at the top to come together? What stops Raila and Uhuru talking? I mean, let's call yes, a spade a spade. Yes. I'm sure if they, they have enough machinery, they know each other, they, have enough, they can communicate, what stops them from talking? Thank you, Michael. You're so right. That is what you've been saying, that the problem are our politicians. We should not even be where we are now IEBC should not be frantically trying to bring them together. These are national leaders. They ought to have seen that the needs of the nation where we stand demand that they talk. I mean, that is the message. This gentleman from Kisi is talking about, let's heal the nation. It's a mashujade. So you are right in your disposition that we should not even be where we are if only our politicians had abandoned 
their partisan positions and put country first. So I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Number two, I think it is also true that our politics are very polarized. And unfortunately, it is not just Jubilee and NASA. That Jubilee and NASA is a conglomeration of tribes. So we have two major tribes on one side, two major tribes on the other side. Any other tribe is just an accessory. And that is cascading to the ground. Michael, as we proceed to 26th, that is the scenario. We will have an election where one section of the country votes, the other section of the country doesn't vote. And take it to the bank. That kind of government will be illegitimate. Now, legitimacy does not have to do with the law. Legitimacy has to do with political acceptability, that the process that I led to that was right. Finally, before Mwishimo comes in. I don't know whether I'm coming in, it could be <laughs> yeah, Because I can see his body language. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Yeah. F -f Finally, Michael, I still hold that the only salvation for this country is for Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta and Honorable Raila Odinga to abandon their extreme, extreme standpoints and talk. OK. Honorable Keoni, let me come to you. I and wonder. honestly speaking, yes. honestly speaking, uh, away, let's put aside any uh, political interests, any personal interests, because even in politics, we know there are personal mm. interests that, uh, that come into play. Putting away all that, you as a Jubilee uh, member, what stops your leader, Uhuru Kenyatta, as a Jubilee leader, sitting down with Raila for the sake of this country, for the love of this country, and having a conversation and agreeing? Because whether we know the church has tried, they've come and tried to, you know, bring some semblance of uh, unity, which has not worked. What stops Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga sitting down and saying that we owe this country as much as moving forward? <laughs> Uh, I don't know whether it is easier to, is it to answer that question within the time that we have. But let me, let me try and say this. The reason why we enacted or we, had, we put in a new constitution and we negotiated this constitution, the reason why we have acts of parliaments being passed every other time that there is an opportunity is because politicians are likely never to sit and agree. So the law should be applied to get us to move on as a country. An institution independent of these political interests were created to ensure that when politicians are not making sense to us, the institution should be able to guide us to the next level. So the fact that uh, the president and uh, Moshimuraira are not sitting does not mean that we should not move on. The independent institution called IEBC should still be able to apply the law and allow the country to move on. They have that responsibility today. It is upon IEBC to move us to the next level. The resignation of Akobe is total betrayal to the nation. She completely lost it. She did not even understand the law she was given at IEBC. You are given that role so that you are able to be there when others are not there. Move us to the next level. That's what the Constitution said, talks about. Again, I, if, you want, if I want me to wear my partisan hat, if you think it is a partisan hat, you have withdrawn from the game, and you want me to come and sit with you. I will sit with the next person who wants to play. All we right. are talking about a game. Mm -hmm. and let me, uh, allow me to move on mm -hmm. a little bit so that we say this. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are all against, uh, up against uh, Allow me to say this also. Again, when we went to the Supreme Court, Four judges decided one way, two decided the other way. Which direction did we take? The one four. for the four. That is the law. That's the law. And we are not complaining about it. So, so when we it. go to parliament yeah. and we make laws and we are the majority, why are you hurt? Just mm. live with it. Mm. And I want to tell you again, we campaign allowed the country to get more numbers in parliament, in the Senate, in the county assembly than the others so that you can manage the country. That's democracy. When you are, That's democracy. When you are beaten to the numbers, stop whining. Go back and look for the numbers. What we are now doing is looking for these numbers. And when our opponents have realized that we will get even more numbers, what do they do? They go and disrupt out there. They have failed to, to beat us on the law. And in court, we have decided to go with all these decisions that have been arrived. When we go out and say, now we are back here, give us votes, they realize that people are now siding with the issues as opposed to people. 
and more people are siding with issues outside the two tribes that he's talking about, and that is worrying NASA. Because going forward, in fact, my concern, my worry this is that going forward, we may never have opposition in this country. They are not organizing themselves to become an opposition. They are disintegrating on the hour and very fast in a scary manner. All right. We uh, need Mike. them, mm -hmm. and they need, we need to encourage Mike. them to do the Mike. things they should Mike. do. Mm -hmm. That is go look for votes. Mike. Stop these demonstrations. Mike. Mike. Mike, as far as I'm concerned, that narrative has been on the cards for the last, it's tired, it's a tired narrative. Which one? The question, the, what, numbers. Uh, what, that numbers. That narrative has been, um, it's tiring. My, my, the comment I would like to make is not even about that one. I want to make this comment. That's why you As far as I'm concerned, Mwishimi Uhuru Kenyatta is bigger than Raila, is bigger than Ruto, is bigger than all of us, is only the country that is bigger than him. Because of that. Define bigger. Do you mean the big, office? You see, his role, his presidential role. His role, yes. His role as president mm -hmm. is bigger than everybody else except the country and except the constitution. All right? So in my opinion, he should take the responsibility. His primary responsibility is as president, not as a candidate of Jubilee. His primary role is as president. If he wants to play the Jubilee card as his primary role, then he should forego the presidency, which he can't do. But he's a politician. No, you which, do, you which, do appreciate he's a politician. Yes, as well. I, no, I appreciate that. Why am I saying this? He should be the one, one, who takes the thunder away from Raila and everybody else and say, look, my job is to keep this country together to keep it in one piece. So the, the proposal I'm making, in the interest of Mashuja, in the interest of the ordinary citizen, is that let us promote reconciliation. In my view, in my view, once you blur the, the, the boundaries between the two uh, functions, that of being a candidate and that of being a, a, a president. Head of state. Head of state. Once that is blood permanently, then the water is dirty. Okay. Now, once the water is dirty, mm -hmm. it, you know, there is an, the, the thing you raised about being is a politician. But a politician, his reason he's got that leadership role is to be able, all right, to provide a leadership framework which people submit to without being coerced. In other words, once he is my president, I can't change it. I expect him to give me motivation to listen to him without feeling that I'm marginalized. I want to refer to what Mojmoa Kioni said. When one states a position, however honest, however decent, but is opposed to Honorable Kioni's chosen narrative, you are considered a Raila supporter. And to me, this is the hypocrisy that has hurt us. All these people, be they Raila's people or Uru's people, they are both talking from both sides of the mouth. In the morning, they talk like this. In the afternoon, they talk like this. The, the thing that is really our challenge, which needs to, why, and I'm tying up, why I need the president to be president, is because all the, all the political leaders are victims, are uh, completely ethnic bigots. So when you try and state anything, as long as it is not, not compliant to their ethnic bias, you are wrong, you are supporting the other side. All right. And I, have, I feel pained, I feel pained that uh, Akombe resigned on matters of principle and personal safety. If that can be dismissed off a hand, that it is irrelevant, I think it's an unconscionable. All right, I need your closing comments. We are out of time. I'll start with you, uh, Daktari, uh, your closing comments. Very briefly, and possibly today being Mashuja Day, I, my desire and my hope is that we can finish on a unified uh, note, if that is possible. Thank you, Michael, as you have always done in these shows. Uh, as I've always said, my request and prayer is to the head of state and to the leader of the opposition that they put country first. What is happening now is not good for the future of the country. 
it has divided the country. There will be Kenya after 26th, but there must be a Kenya that is united, that is one. Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta found Kenya and they leave Kenya. We must remain one. Nothing is greater than the unity of the nation. They must put their interests aside and agree that we shall live as one. Thank you. Honorable Kioni, your closing comments. 26 October is a very crucial day for us as a country. It is a day that has even been declared as a public holiday. I ask all Kenyans of goodwill to come out and express their will uh, for, uh, for this nation. They should be able to come out and vote and ask all politicians, including myself, to ensure that we don't create any chaos or we, the environment that, we, uh, that exists or that we prefer that day is that, that, that allows every Kenyan from every part of this country to go out and express their will. And it is important that we have a government in place that will be able to get us moving forward, that will be able to move to where Professor is talking about, where we can be able to say, this is our government, let us go sit and negotiate with it. Mm -hmm. Without that, we are playing with a very dangerous thing. And I want to tell you that nothing, including being called a bigot, <laughs> nothing will blur my mind from that. We must have a government on 26. From that point, we will sit and negotiate. We will include everybody in government. You can say there are two tribes, but we will still move the country forward, as with all tribes included in it. Professor, your closing comments. Uh, actually, I'm saddened by Honorable Kyoi's comments. Because, you because, are already because, just my closing name. No, I'm, I'm closing. We'll I'm, I'm, closing yeah. I'm closing. Please. Mm. What we have here is justice is on trial. It, what the argument you are seeing is about justice. It's not about uh, let's vote. It's not about let's not vote. It's not about let us demonstrate. The fundamental uh, uh, ju junctions in the software between these communities is about is everybody having their expectations met. What we must do as a nation is attempt as much as possible to let everybody's expectations be met as far as practically possible. It is on that basis that I would still encourage that notwithstanding whether there will be an election or not, if it is there, we'll deal with the results. If it is not there, we'll deal with the results. My prayer is let's sit down and discuss the consequences. If not before, let's discuss, even after the elections, let's sit down. The two sides that are feuding, they must sit down and express goodwill. Thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll have to wind it up right there. That's uh, Professor Oeri Tumbo, who's a political analyst. Jeremiah Kioni, Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, who's Member of Parliament for Nicaragua. And last but not least, Dr. Alutalala Mukwana, who is a lawyer. Thank you for joining us this morning, and I wish you a fantastic and a wonderful Mashuja Day, rest of Mashuja Day. For now, it's 28 minutes to 9. We're taking a short break. We'll be right back with Ball Stories making headlines right here on Morning Express.